welcome to Europa Universalis 4. We are in the process of dismantling Norway and giving pros provinces over to Sweden. Uh, we have a colony here that is self-sufficient. You joined British New Wales. Excellent. So next area, I think there's only two sevens left. Yep, and one, this one is up north in an ice. Uh, but we'll go there. There will be oil or something there in the future that we don't realize in uh, this day and age. Okay, these are sieging, those are sieging. I think you should just go there. And we got the siege of Anter. So we can go this way, northwards. Oh, these are the knights. And then you can't really go any further right now. Someone's cleaning up that, that should be fine and dandy. So 84% Stockholm to uh, fall on the next uh, tick. And 77 for Akashu, so one of them should fall this time this time around. If not both. Stockholm didn't. Akashu did on the other hand. Alright. So you can go to Samsung and you just go to the Trendlag. That is the last fortress Norway has that is not sieged. And recall a diplomat and send one to someone of our vassal city Sweden. They like us because we liberated the provinces and whatnot. Okay, Aragon, they are not too happy. Well, actually, it's not true, they are very happy, that's what I was supposed to say. Uh, New British Cumbria. Should go from the lowest, maybe. British New Nottingham, are we working on you, improving? No, we are not, so let's just do that. And Siege of Stockholm is over. One fortress left in Norway, which means we will have to, well not have to, but we are going to move the ships into Stockholm and sail you over to Finland. Here, so we'll go to the Gulf of Finland. Is Riga independent? No, Riga is Polish. <coughs> okay, Finland has moved in here with some soldiers. Okay, you still go there. These are two units. And this one you head back. <coughs> and these guys help out. Good. Navies arrive. We're gonna go north or south. I think we're gonna go south. So the one in the North Sea Squadron, you go to Reval, and the other one. Well, fantastic. <coughs> okay, we're engaging these guys. Like so. When you arrives in the river, you just sit there and help with the siege. Alright, 
like that. Let me do it. Move this guy somewhere, so one goes here and the other goes there. Should be fine. Unhappiness amongst the artisans, lose stability or lose a lot of money. I guess we are losing a lot of money. So now we run into the deficit because we'll pay a huge amount of interest per turn. But I guess that is the way it's gonna be. Yep, there was the loan. These guys, you just head on now and for the northwards. There's still Gotland, which is technically the capital of Sweden currently, yep. Lapland and we'll colonize successfully. They have a colony down here, alright. That's a thing I guess. Steel goes to war against Timbuktu. Timbuktu? B. Siege of Trendelag is over. That means you will go to Halgoland. Actually, you are going to Halgoland already, yeah. Which means you can go, say, over here. We occupy that as well. He's over from Finland. Find that, see if you really will. It's over. One goes here, and the other one goes there. Okay, colonization successful. People laugh at our army. Well, they're not laughing when they're dead, so we'll just attack him instead. Uh, Great Britain, we occupied here. So we use Savalax. and clergy are gonna loyalty one way or the other. Alright, I have to look at what their stats are here. States, I'm not really doing anything much with the states. Loyalty, so I'll side with the clergy and they will become loyal. I can do all sorts of things here. World Charter, Shuttler Increase. 
loyalty and influence. And yeah, I don't know. Uh, colony self-sustaining here. The United some lands here. Right, the guys with seven development that we are working on, so now it's six development and there seems to be a fair amount of those. So we have to look at their placement and positions and what seems to be appropriate. These are dry lands. These will connect some of our lands here, so but we are not in competition with that as such directly. Bhutan. That will also be very nice. These guys here hmm, might not be direct competition. We call up over the Philippines, alright. These were like nowhere, these are in snow. These are not connected to, yes, they are connected. So they will get a uh, coast on the other side of the continent here, so that's the one we go for. Right, Norway. Norway is full of siege, just want to deal with Finland, I'm not entirely sure what to do with them after the war. Just for argument's sake, I'll just take as much from him as I can, one way or another. Uh, if he arrived, yeah, sure. Finland, just go away for now. Increase the speed, a smidge. Occupy Narva, which means you can go to Neva. An advisor. And what we'll do with you, I guess we will take the uh, level 3 one. Kexam and Savalax. The guys in Savalax, you might as well carry on to Reborg. Guys, can you walk all the way home without getting interrupted? No. You can walk here though. Geneva is over. Can you walk to out there as well? No. I guess you have to wait for the other siege. here. Right. We don't have everything, but uh, we will have close to. So Finland, I can release Estonia, I can release Karelia, I don't see the need for to do either of those. Can't make a vessel. I could give something to maybe Sweden. Myself, I don't know. Level end here, I could take or give. I think 
I would rather move on to something more continuous. <coughs> this and this is 31% overextension don't know how much I want to do against Norway This 400 diplo points. Sure. Which means we will increase our autonomy here instantly. Just don't want to deal with rebels, it's just annoying. And our extension is at 50 something. We can't go at the robot yet because we have to do some of the others first. Like so. Excellent. All five units are now. Gonna just walk on home. No, 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 Too much though. Get the diplomat back. So what is our extension at? It's at 59.4, so we can take 40.6. Norway. Sue for peace. Turn course to Sweden. Scores, so I guess it will be Stockholm, Bergen, Slagen, Wormland, Stigatland, Stigatland, Helsingsland, Nerke, Alaskogen, and Westerbotten. Alright, that all becomes Swedish. and Pegasus for ourselves and Bottas land for ourselves as well Trendelag we could do as well we're still not on the extension and Halgoland that is I think no we can get this at the Svala as well this is what we'll do Expansion is gonna go to the roof with Norway and Denmark. Rest is gonna be manageable, I imagine. Oh, extension shouldn't be a huge problem. All right. So Norway will do uh, all sorts of things to Great Britain and give a course to Sweden. All right. And Sweden will move the capital to Stockholm. Alright, British Baltic and British Scandinavia have been uh, added to our territory. So here we go and increase the autonomy, so we'll just get rid of all the rebels. Like so. 
Excellent. Right, so Norway sort of has three provinces left. And they are not connected at all. Oh well, too bad for Norway. Of course. We have some points. But probably not enough to do all of them. Nope, not enough to do all of them. Right. And in the next episode, we'll carry on coring, and then I think it's France on the agenda. Thank you very much for watching.